And with continued forecasts of more rain and scattered showers, residents who already have experienced severe flooding are turning to FEMA for assistance, as we mentioned. Action Force Ashley Custer tells us that some families are finding that the wet weather is keeping them from moving forward. This family has been battling the floodwaters for quite some time. Back in May, Aaron Asensio told us about the problems the excess water has been causing his family and to his home. Shortly thereafter, Hidalgo County came to pump the water out, but just one month later, his property looks like this. We're back to square one. We actually got four loads of caliche about last week, and after that it rained. And we thought it wasn't going to make it over the caliche, but it did. It, it got to the cars too, so we have to walk in water. But that's not all. The home has lost electricity in three rooms. The plumbing and septic system have been out of order, not to mention the water damage to the home itself. Asensio says his mother has applied for disaster relief funds, and FEMA came out to the property and quickly issued them $6,000 for the damages. As of Wednesday, 1,300 Hidalgo County residents have registered with FEMA, and $570,000 have been allocated. However, FEMA says that number will likely increase as insurance policies are sorted out and more families apply for assistance. Asensio says FEMA was a big help, but the continuous rains are preventing them from repairing their home. She got funds, but she cannot use them because it's still wet. Electricians won't go underneath the house. They won't do plumbing underneath the house because it's still, there's water there. He says hearing rain in the forecast makes him a bit edgy. Residents in Edinburgh haven't had much relief. Every time I look at my phone, I'm like, damn it, it's raining. I get out of work and I see thunderstorms. I'm like, oh my God, how, I wonder how it is in Edinburgh. You know, I'm always wondering when I go home, how is it going to be, you know? So, yeah, it's, 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 it puts more stress on you you know, on a daily basis, but, you know, we're still alive, so. Essencio fears the rains will continue and the flooding won't subside. It's why he'd like Hidalgo County to complete the drainage project on Rio Grande Care Road. But unfortunately, it's all a catch-22 because the county says due to the weather, work has been postponed and won't likely start back up for another 30 days. In Edinburgh, Ashley Custer, Action 4 News. A tough situation out there. FEMA says it has completed just over 96% of all its home inspections in Hidalgo County. A spokesperson tells us FEMA employees will always call and schedule an appointment before showing up at your home. If you would like to register with FEMA, you can contact them by phone or stop by their disaster recovery center. Already up and running tomorrow at the Edinburgh Annex building 317 North Klausner.